25 of the best golfers playing in the Stephen Gallagher Foundation, Paul Laurie Foundation and Barry Douglas Foundation events had once again qualified for the Race to the Macri Finals for 2022. The course continues to improve and was in sensational condition this year, providing a real treat and pure test of golf for the youngsters who also enjoyed staying in the luxury hotel here on Isla. As is now tradition, Saturday morning started off after a warm up down at the range by inviting eight local children and aspiring golfers to come along and play in a fun Texas scramble on the short pitch and putt course. A fantastic little facility here at the hotel. Uh, short in the morning, well on camera at least, came from Callum Bruce of Deeside. No more than a couple of feet away with his tee shot here on the third. And he would carry that form on into the competition proper in the afternoon. Finishing the day one off the lead with level par. This was Summer Elliott, also on the third. Doing what she does in front of the cameras to be fair. Sinking a long putt. And Freya Russell, last year's champion, also holding a nice putt. In the fun part of the day, these two would be battling it out later on in the competition proper. But the winners of the scramble in the morning were the team of Cameron Mukherjee, Kobe Buchan, Emily Tan and local golfer Jack Shaw. Now Jack came along to the pitch and putt as a guest last year but he's now graduated into playing in the competition proper. After seeing his handicap tumble over the last couple of years and this was him. On the second hole, on the opening round, in bright and breezy conditions. Uh, finishing down the leaderboard a bit, but who knows, he could be competing for the title pretty soon. So what else was happening in the opening round? Well, this is Callum Keneally from Dunbar on the 12th. Setting up a great birdie opportunity, which he would convert on his way to finishing day one in fifth spot, four shots off the lead. Going slightly better was Dylan Cairns from Royal Troon, here on the tricky par 4, 14th. He would finish the day three shots off the lead. Scottish Amateur Champion, Oliver Muckerjee here on 12. This for a bird day from just off the green. Well, I don't know if he was walking it in there or not. Perhaps he thought it was going to drop just a little bit too firm. But he was also three shots back after the opening round. Brother Samuel Mukherjee was out in front after 18 holes though. Saving par here on the tricky par 3 third. A one shot lead and the only golfer to shoot under par. But we have to go back down to the tee for Sam's playing partner Alex McGillivray from Nairn. Shot of the day. What about this? 220 yards into the wind uphill and very nearly holding it. A great opening round from Alex, but he would fade on day two. So what about the girls' competition? Well, this is Ruby Watt at the par 3 ninth. It was a bit of a breeze, and the ninth was playing pretty tricky. Although no problem for Ruby. Great approach from the tee, and sinking the birdie putt. Ruby would finish the competition. Third place, and a good performance. Also holding out well in day one was Molly Nicholson from Preston Field. Putting together a tidy round, she would finish the opening round in third place. But the wind and rain and elements moved her down the field on day two. She was outside along Jodie Graham, who went the other way. Holding out nicely here and finishing the tournament in fourth place. Summer Elliott with another putt there for birdie on the second in her opening round. And she would start day two just one shot off the lead. From the girl who was out in front after 18 holes, Freya Russell. Well, she won this tournament last year in a playoff against Grace Crawford. Unfortunately, that birdie putt just staying out on the 12th in her opening round. But the favourite probably coming into the week, and still probably the favourite at the halfway mark. Well, day two, and the conditions were not quite as favourable 
There was a lot of rain, there was a lot of wind, but there was a lot of golf to be played. Back on the second with Summer Elliott. This was her third shot at the par five that runs alongside the little river that runs into the sea. Just behind the green and a nice approach from Summer. And you can see the conditions, pretty testing, pretty wet. Down on the green, Freya Russell had this for her birthday. That would stay out. So a chance perhaps for Summer after that approach to narrow the gap. It's almost never in doubt these days with Summer. Great putt, great birthday and things all square after two holes between the two leaders. Well, the lead would exchange hands a few times in the front nine. Freya Russell here on nine. And it shows you how tough this course can be. No more than 10 or 12 paces away from the hole, having to chop out from the rough, but she would see that putt home. And get her three. Summer Elliott had a little bit more work to do for her par, but again, it dropped. And that meant that Summer Elliott was one shot behind, going into the final nine holes. The lead would change over to Summer over the next two holes. And Freya had to hold that par putt to stay within one on the 12th. Well, it was tight all the way to the final hole. Here we are on 18. Summer with her third shot at the par five, just past the hole. The players absolutely tied on the same score here on the final hole. This was Freya's fourth shot after hitting the bunker with her approach. This for a birdie, oh so close. But a good recovery after that third shot, putting her in the sand. But that meant that Summer Elliott had this to win the girls' race to the Machri for 2022. But for once, the putt stayed out. That meant it was time for a playoff and a little bit of panic with the camera crew. With the boys' tournament also finishing off at the same time, a handheld camera was thrust into the palms of fellow competitor Jake Johnston, who ran down to the first green to see this monster putt hold by Summer Elliott to win the 2022 race to the Macri for the girls. And no surprise to see a long putt drop to get that victory. Fantastic effort there from Summer Elliott. So what about the boys? Well, Fergus Brown from Gullen. This was him on the par 5 second. And he would move up from ninth spot at the start of the day to finish in 6th. Out behind was Callum Keneally. And he was going along very nicely. He'd started the day in 5th spot. Four shots off the lead. He too would birdie the second hole. And eventually finished the day tied alongside Fergus in sixth spot. Dylan Cairns was out in the final group, starting the day three shots back, but like so many others, struggled a bit on the very tough par four fifth. A nice chip on. And this is Oliver Mukherjee playing alongside Dylan. He too had to chop on from the side of the green. And a Difficult front nine for Ollie, from which he struggled to recover. Finishing the day in fourth place, though. So out with the final group and the leaders, Callum Bruce was now level with uh, halfway leader Sam Muckerjee after the first. And a great approach with his third on the par five second. Setting up a birdie opportunity. Well, what could Sam do in reply? An even better approach, rolling up for a tap in. He would see that in for his birdie, and Callum would miss his birdie opportunity. So Samuel restoring the one shot lead that he started the day with. However, when the players reached the fifth, well, fair to say most of the golfers were struggling here, but Callum with a lovely up and down to save his par, and that would give him a four shot lead at this point over Samuel Mukherjee. After Sam had a bit of a disaster on the fifth. So could anybody else take advantage? Well, Archie Finney was trying his very best. And look at that reaction. That tells you all you need to do. 
That was a birdie opportunity here on the par 3 ninth. Having to settle for a par, fair to say. Striking the ball well, Archie, but the putter was stone cold. Back up on the tee at the ninth. Samuel Mukherjee, well by this point, he'd clawed back a couple of those shots that he'd given away to the field. Then he was only two behind Callum Bruce. Nice tee shot. Both golfers would get a par here, so up to the 12th. And by which point Samuel Mukherjee was now level with Callum Bruce. And looking to see that home for a birdie. Well, he didn't quite manage. Callum, this was his birdie attempt. As the sun broke through momentarily. And a little bit of uh, adrenaline going. After giving away four shots. Back to Samuel. Players all square as they headed into the final few holes. Archie Finney again up at 18. Well, sorry to keep showing this, Archie. If that putt had dropped, he would have finished on his own in second place. Wasn't to be. As the weather really began to close in for the finishing few holes. Well, the girls were finishing their playoff. The boys are coming up 18. Uh, this was Samuel Mukherjee. Now three shots in the lead over Callum Bruce. This was his second onto the par five. Nicely onto the heart of the green. You can see the wind and rain helping him up the last. Callum Bruce had had to come up short with his second. This was his third. But a beautiful touch. Just rolling up that hill past the flag but coming back a touch. But the victory looked all but guaranteed for Samuel Mukherjee now. Out there in front of Mum and Dad before heading off to the Faldo series. Could he finish in spectacular style with an eagle? Well, the putt would need to reach the top of that little slope, which it did just about. But not quite enough pace there. Sam, well, the early starters enjoying a little bit of shelter. Up in the hotel, watching the final stages. This was Dylan Cairns out in the final group, looking to finish with a birdie. And what was a disappointing day after a great first round. He would finish in fifth place. Six shots back, but plenty to be encouraged about for the young golfer from Troon. Now Callum Bruce for his birdie, well a D-side golfer, a tough back nine, but he finished tied second, three shots back alongside Archie Finney, after Samuel Mukherjee saw home his birdie putt for a great victory here, at a magnificent venue, Samuel Mukherjee, the boys race to the Macri final, champion alongside the girls champion Summer Elliott, Congratulations to both golfers. Hard-earned victories on a tough course in tough conditions. But fingers crossed we can all come back here in 12 months' time and do it all again.